What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pakel today on The Hard Count. J.T. Daniels is going to West Virginia. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel. Everything you know, everything you love about college football. It happens here on a nearly daily basis. Armstrong Sims, Jet McKenzie, doing the heavy lifting. You can help drive the show at my Twitter page, at JD Pakel. So, we actually had a video queued up. It was recorded. Jack had produced it. Jack had had everything set to go. And it was going to be about where JT Daniels is going to commit to because he had Oregon State on the table, had Missouri on the table, had West Virginia on the table. The rumor or the narrative was that he was going to commit after spring football. So we filmed this video. A few hours later, maybe 36 hours later, JT Daniels commits to West Virginia. So text Jack, said, hey, bro, so sorry. Can we do another video? He is kind enough to oblige and make time. So here we are reshooting this video, talking about JT Daniels taking the country roads all the way home to West Virginia. So, to pat ourselves on the back a little bit and to pat you on the back as the audience, we both called this. We both said JT Daniels should go to West Virginia. We all think will go to West Virginia. I think it was about 40% of you on the Twitter poll said JT Daniels to West Virginia should happen. It did happen. So there we go. So what does this mean? Like, why does this make sense? First of all, for JT Daniels, as we've discussed at length, this move, wherever he went, was going to be about improving his draft stock to be an NFL quarterback and be a highly graded NFL quarterback going into this next year's draft. That's important. Why is it important for this move specifically, and why does it make sense? Because if he were to go to a school like Missouri or like an Oregon State, he'd probably play right away, probably the least amount of resistance in the quarterback room, but he'd have to learn a whole new scheme, have to pick up a whole new playbook, whereas at West Virginia, his guy Graham Harrell's already there. He already knows what he's done. He's done that offense before at USC so he can make the most seamless transition. To the same token, it's Graham Harrell's first year. You don't think he wants to make a good first impression? You don't think he wants to start off fast in Morgantown? That's huge to have a quarterback you can cater to, build your system around, and refine the system around. Because again, he's already been in it. And I want to make sure we talk about this as well. West Virginia isn't getting a used goods kind of quarterback. West Virginia isn't getting some slappy that's coming in, has been off the bench a couple of years. Maybe that's how it looks on the outside. But you got to remember, JT Daniels was a five-star quarterback. Five, five. They don't just hand those out. Five stars are hard to come by. I don't care what you think about stars. That's a big deal. Also worth noting, JT Daniels lost, quote unquote, his job twice. Once at USC, once at Georgia. Both of those happened because of his injuries. It wasn't like he played poorly and they said, hey, sorry, JT, we got to try something else. You've gone out and thrown too many interceptions. You turned the ball over too much. He played well at both schools. Started as a true freshman at USC. Played pretty well for a true freshman for what they had at USC. Goes to Georgia. Leads him to a New Year's Six Bowl victory. Like, the dude's done some things. He's not just all hype. He's not some washed-up five-star recruit. He's going to be a weapon at West Virginia right away. So what does this mean for West Virginia? Well, the Big 12 as a whole is a question mark. So I think right away it makes them, if not a contender, I think it makes them a player in that conference. Now, of course, you have Baylor. Of course, you have Oklahoma. Texas, a huge question mark. Iowa State, a completely different team. Baylor lost a lot on defense. Oklahoma, new head coach, new coordinator, new quarterback. Texas, new quarterback. There's so many things shifting right now to where you don't have really any sure thing across the board in the Big 12. So for West Virginia, got a great OC hire. Seemingly made a great acquisition at quarterback. This could be a story to watch as it progresses. Now, I think he's still going to have to win the job. And that was sort of the knock on making the move to Morgantown was, okay, yeah, you're probably the guy. You probably should be the guy right away. You probably will be the guy right away. But there's still some talent in that quarterback room in Nico Marquial and Garrett Green. Both guys that can play. Both guys that are Elite 11 caliber. Still going to, I think, ultimately push JT and make him better. So if he is that guy game one, it'll be because he's won that job. Now, again, him being in the system already, having been in the system, is going to be a huge factor in that quarterback race. So, to continue on to that point, with all the question marks in the Big 12, having a great quarterback 
makes you a player. It just does because great quarterback play in general is hard to come by. And we've seen in this conference, good defense, good quarterback play usually amounts for at least a Big 12 title appearance. We'll see if that's the case with Virginia. The verdict is still out as to how quickly does everybody else around JT Daniels get on the same page? How well does the defense play? Things to watch. We'll see. I'm not calling West Virginia to compete for a Big 12 title this season or for them to be in the Big 12 title game this season, but I think that they're going to be hanging around that conversation. So something to keep an eye on. And this to me is probably the most crucial point with the JT Daniels move to Morgantown. If you're a receiver in the transfer portal and you've got options, you are now taking a much harder look at West Virginia than you did before JT Daniels got there. Because now you're saying, okay, I can go to a place where they're going to throw it around. If I know anything about Graham Harrell on that offense, they're going to spread the football around. They're going to throw it a lot. Coming from a, uh, he's a Mike Leach disciple, essentially, is Graham Harrell. So we know what he does with the air raid. And I got a quarterback that can wheel and deal. A guy who's shown he can wheel and deal. They're going to get a lot. I mean, I promise you, they will make some acquisitions post-spring practice in the transfer portal, whether it be at receiver, whether it be at running back. This offense is going to be a much more attractive destination for players in the future. All that to say, I'm excited for West Virginia. I'm excited for JT Daniels. I'm excited for Graham Harrell. I'm excited for the Big 12 Conference because I think this makes the entire picture a lot more exciting and more competitive. It's going to be a whole lot of fun to watch. That's it for us here on The Hard Count. Appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. We are going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time.